Hello and welcome. I'm Sharon and this is Tree of Witches Tarot. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing because I really want to open this. I first saw this deck on um, Adventures in Metaphysics with Krista and I had to go out and order it immediately. <clears throat> I am going to pronounce it very poorly, I am sure. Um, and I ordered it from tarotarts.com and it arrived in a couple days. They're in California and they shipped to Utah so fast, it's insane. So this is the E. Nabi di Giovanni Vecchetta. Um, I don't even know if that's close. Let's see, it came with, it's created by hand. Any imperfections or variations are due to its workmanship. Okay. So it comes out a nice box. Cool wax stamp on it. Get out my X-Acto knife. Okay, so it's got square corners, not rounded. Smaller than I had anticipated. So it has a cover card. Let's see, let's get my centennial weight out. So it is the same height and it's skinnier. So I have number, um, yeah, 147? I do not know. I do not know what that first digit is. If you know what that first digit is, please share it below. So it's a kind of a cardboardy cardstock. <clears throat> it's not laminated at all. Just going to do a quick first impressions and flip through. It's very colorful. Mm -hmm. So a leopard. Yeah, I love the colors in this, how bright they are. It's very saturated. Nice. Interesting that it's just Cupid and not lovers on the lovers. Chariot without any beasts in front of it. Justice. The hermit without others is laying turned down here, but it's not lit. He's in the daylight. Ooh, ouch. So strength was eight and wait, justice was eight and strength is 11. So I'm pretty sure this is like a Marseille-ish deck. That's cool death. Definitely speaking to no one is above death. Got a crown and, and a papal hat it looks like. I'm sure there's a word for it. Can't think of it right now. Temperance. Oh, I'm loving this. So the Marseille with its really primary color scheme just doesn't appeal to me at all. The moon. Fish up there. This reminds me kind of of um, the sevenfold mystery aesthetic. Sun. Judgment. The world. <sighs> the 
That's awesome. Oh, I love that. Look at those chubby little legs. That's cool. Different kinds of sea creatures. Oh, I'm loving this. Thank you, Krista. So they are semi-illustrated pips, kind of like uh, Pagan Otherworlds. Five. Six kind of horn instrument there. Interesting. Seven. I'll have to look up what that says since I don't know any Italian. Eight. Oh, that's so cool. Snails and frogs. That's so cool. Sorry, dogs are downstairs barking. So I'll have to look up what Fonte means. I wonder if it's valet. <laughs> I like that he's in like a jester costume for the night. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I love her. King. That's an amazing robe he's got. Okay. Ace of Coins. Danari. Two. Oh, looks like a Christmas ornament. That's so cool. I'd love to have a Christmas ornament like that. Three. Musical instruments. Feels like Christmas to me. Four. It's five, sorry. Eight. It's cool that each coin has a different a Roman Emperor, I'm going to guess those are. can't really read them from here. <clears throat> Nine. I huh, wonder what that's supposed to be. Ten. Page. I just love the colors in this. Night. Queen. And the king. King is working hard. You rarely see the king doing work. Oh, the Ace of Cups is one of my favorite. It's so pretty. A little monkey there. Two, three, four. Oh, I just noticed that it is. I'm not sure how, what you call that different numbering instead of the one V that it's the four ones. Five. So pretty. Six. Is that a cat? A weasel? Kind of like a weasel of some sort. Seven. Eight. Nine, 
page. Looks a little bit older than the other pages. And I, oh, look at that horse. So pretty. Clean. Oh, she's gorgeous. King. Oh my gosh, look at all the colors. Oh, I love this deck. How did I not know about this before? Okay, the swords. Oh, they're so pretty. That's cool. It's got some armor. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, okay. Interesting how sometimes the nine is the heart being stabbed instead of the three. Ten. balancing it like that. Night. Ouch. Interesting that they're holding the swords in these way on this queen. I wonder why that is. And the king. Okay. That is the that, that which I can't say. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous freaking deck. I love it. Again, I'll share the links below and thanks for sharing and my first impressions of this. Have a nice day. Hi, I just, I'm recording a quick little video about my first deck giveaway. It'll be the Peace Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno and Layla J. Williams. Um, so this will be tagged on the end of any video where I want you to comment if you'd like to enter for the giveaway. So anytime you see this, on a video and you'd like to enter for the giveaway, just enter in the comments a peace sign or the word peace. So I'll just do a quick flip through of it. It's a really nice deck. I just feel like it's um, in my Oracle collection, which is pretty big. It's redundant. So I am wanting to rehome it to somebody who will appreciate it and love it. So, a lot of the cards are really beautiful. I just, a lot of these trees feel like the trees in my Soul Trees deck. Some of them feel kind of like my hero's journey. It's a blue angel deck. Cards are pretty big. I have big hands, but it's still big. Um, it's a little bit glossy. And again, if you uh, would like to be entered in for the possibility of winning this deck, all you have to do is comment in any video where this is at the end with the word peace or any version of a peace emoji, a peace sign. Again, a lot like the, my soul trees, which is just, it's a beautiful deck.
really is. They're not knocking this in any way at all. I just don't need as many Oracle decks as I have. So if you're seeing this, comment below. And when you comment, remember to like and subscribe as well. Okay, that's the Peace Oracle, which I'll be giving away. And this will last until probably sometime in May, and then I'll be announcing who won. All right, thanks for watching and bye-bye.